Hi, I'm Jordan from Chatamize and in this video I will show you how you can send recurring notifications with ManyChat. But before I will tell you what recurring notifications are and how you can use them, I will first give you a quick recap of the Facebook Messenger rules. So, every time a user interacts with your chatbot in Facebook Messenger, a 24-hour window will open. And within this 24-hour window, we can send non-promotional content and promotional content to the user. But outside the 24-hour window, we can only send message tags, sponsored messages and the one-time notification. And I will not go deep into that right now, but I have a post on my website and I will add the link in the description where you can find more information about this. But to keep it short, with message tags, we can send messages to the user for specific use cases, with sponsored messages, we sent Facebook ads through Facebook Messenger basically and with the one-time notification we ask for permission to send one message and then we can send one message outside the 24-hour window once we got that permission. But now Facebook has introduced a new type of notification and this is called the recurring notification and this is for us another way which we can use to send messages outside the 24-hour window. So, what is a recurring notification? With the recurring notification, we can send messages outside the 24-hour window. And what we basically need to do is we need to ask for permission to send messages about a certain topic. And we can send messages on a recurring schedule. So before we had the one-time notification and with the one-time notification we could only send one message but with the recurring notification we can send messages on a daily, a weekly or even a monthly basis. And here on the right side I have an example of a really simple notification request and this is for a new product launch. So when the user clicks on this button, clicks on get weekly messages, you can send them a notification about a new product launch every single week. So what we basically need to do is inside the 24-hour window we need to ask for permission we need to ask for an opt-in and once we got the opt-in once the user clicks on get daily or get weekly messages then we can send them a recurring notification outside the 24-hour window so what topics can we send and this is the best part about recurring notification we can send any topic we want. We can even send promotional content and campaigns. And here are a few examples of what we can send. We can send a notification about a new product collection, updates about a music festival. For example, if you're launching a music festival, then you often have new updates about new artists coming to your festival. This is a great example of sending people updates about these new artists. And eventually you can also send new discount campaigns. For example, when there's a new Black Friday sale, you can send them a notification about your Black Friday sale. But it's also really important that the user needs to re-opt in. Once the user has opted in to receive daily messages, this opt-in is only available for six months. So after six months, the user needs to re-opt in. And this differs per basis. So if someone has opted in for weekly notifications, then they need to re-opt in after nine months. And when they opted in for monthly notifications, they need to opt in after 12 months. And in a few minutes, I will show you how we can send an opt-in to the user but also show you how we can send a re-opt-in to the user after these six or nine or 12 months. So a few notes before we go into ManyChat. First of all, don't spam people. Facebook doesn't want that you spam people. You will get blocked with your Facebook page. This is not something that you want, so don't do this. Second, do not offer rewards in return for getting the notification. So you cannot say, 
if you sign up for this notification, you get a $5 gift card or you get a 10% discount. That's not possible. You cannot offer any rewards for getting the notification. And lastly, you can send a maximum of 10 opt-in requests in seven days. So per week, you can send 10 opt-in requests to a user and for a daily limit, there's also five opt-in requests per day. I think most of the businesses won't even send like more than three opt-in requests in a week, but just know that these limits are there. So now that we know what the recurring notification is, why we need to use it and how we can use it, let's see how we can set this up inside ManyChat. So now I am inside ManyChat and I will just click on new flow and I will call this flow recurring notification opt-in and click on create. So the first thing that we are going to do now is we can click on messenger and this will add a new message block and then we need to scroll down and we need to select notification request and we are going to set up a notification for a new fashion collection. So the topic will be called new fashion collection and then you can just click on create. So this is the topic name so again new fashion collection and the type is the frequency so again we can set this to daily, weekly or monthly or we can also set up a one-time notification but this is not something that we want so I will just set it to weekly. And I will leave the description blank because we don't need that and we can click on create. So I will remove this first message because we're not going to need that. And here we can upload an image. So I just downloaded a simple image from the internet about clothing. And then we can say something like get notified when a new fashion collection launches. And then we can add a nice icon here. And we cannot uh, change this text and we can not change this button. Facebook will automatically generate that for us. So we cannot change it. You can only change the image and the title of the request. Then the next thing that we need to do is if someone clicks on the notify me button, then we need to perform an action. So we can click on action and then we will set a custom field. So we need to create a new custom field and the custom field will be called recurring notification date. This will be of type date and time and we are going to click create. So what we can do is recurring notification date and we are going to set it to the daytime of the action with an offset. And the offset pretty much means that we can add several days or several hours or several minutes to this daytime. So I'm going to add 260 days. And the reason why I'm going to do this is because in nine months, which is approximately 260 days, I want to send them a re-opt-in request. So that's the reason we need to set this custom field. So this will be the next step. And then we can say another message with thank you for signing up. We will send you a message when a new fashion collection launches. And then we can click on publish. And if you want to test it out, I do not recommend to use the preview because if you're using the preview, you're not actually getting the notification inside your profile because it's the preview version. So if you want to test this out, I would add a trigger, search for keyword, and I will just say RN1, recurring notification one, and click on create. And then if I go to messenger, I can just type in RN1, And then it says, get notified when a new fashion collection launches. I will click on get weekly messages. And then it says, thank you for signing up. We will send you a message 
when a new fashion collection launches. So as you can see, I've now signed up for weekly messages about new fashion collections. And you will also see like you have chosen to receive messages and someone can click on manage and then they can say they want to stop notifications or say that something is wrong. But if you get this, you know that you have signed up for the recurring notification. So now I will show you how we can send the recurring notification outside the 24 hour window. So if we go back to ManyChat, then we go to automation and then we say new flow and I will call this the recurring notification broadcast and click on create. So again, we're going to choose for messenger, click on it. And what's really important here is that we need to change this. So we don't want to send this within the 24 hour window. It needs to be outside the 24 hour window. And the reason is the new fashion collection that we first created. So we click on this and then we can just specify a message. So I can just say hi and then say first name. Hi, first name. Here is your requested notification about our new fashion collection. We just launched the A collection, just the name of the collection, and it contains new shirts, jeans, and much more. Do you want to see the collection? And then we can add a simple button with a nice icon which says hell yeah and if someone clicks on that button we will send them another message with awesome just click the button below to see it another icon and then here we will say shop the drop and we will open a website, which is your own website address. So we just put in mine, chatomize.com and click on done. And this is basically enough to send your recurring notifications. The flow is enough, but because we need to send a re opt in, if the user is even close to getting to the limit, we need to add a condition. So the next step is a condition. And the condition is recurring notification date is before and then we need to select a specific date so as you can see today it's the 24 of May so I will set it within one month so if it's the 24 of June so if the recurring notification date is before the 24 of June so that is between now and within one month then we are going to send another message with by the way it seems that your opt-in for our fashion collection notification is going to be invalid in a month we add a delay if you want to get future messages about new fashion collections please click the button below and then we are going to add the same notification request we did before so this is the collection new fashion collection we're going to upload the image and we are going to enter the same title get notified when new fashion collection launches and if they click on that button then we say thank you for signing up again so this is the complete flow that we want to send we are basically saying okay this is our new collection if you want to see it click this button when they click that button then we'll send them the link to our website and if their recurring notification date 
is between now and a month, then we also ask if they want to re-opt in again. So then we can get the opt-in again and they we can send them recurring notifications in the future. So that's the complete flow. And now we only need to set up the broadcast so that this flow is sent. So now if you go to broadcasting, you can click on broadcast from flow. We are going to select the recurring notification broadcast. That's the flow we just created. Select this flow. Always do a double check here. Always check if it's outside the 24 hour window and the reason is the new fashion collection. Well, that's true. Then you click on go next. Then you need to select the promotional content and we need to target the user. So here we're going to select a condition which is the notification topic available is the collection, the new fashion collection. And you will see that the broadcast will be sent to one user, which is me. Then if you scroll down, you can start sending now or you can schedule it for later. But because I want to show you how it works, I will start sending now. And then if I click on send now, it will be automatically sent to all the people that signed up for my recurring notification. So I just click on send now. Now the broadcast is sent. And if I go to Messenger, you will see Hi Joran, here's your requested notification about a new fashion collection. We just launched the A collection and it contains new shirts, jeans and much more. Do you want to see the collection? Then if I click on hell yeah, then it said awesome. Just click the button below to see it. And if I click on this, it will go to my website and also know that if I needed to re-opt in, if that date is between now and one month, an additional message will be sent but because I just signed up for the recurring notification, I will not get that message. And that's it. That's how you set up a recurring notification and send notifications outside the 24 hour window by using ManyChat. If you have any questions about ManyChat and about sending recurring notifications inside Facebook Messenger, please leave a comment below and I will reply as soon as possible. If you want more videos on how you can use chatbots in your marketing, please subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't done this yet, also click the like button below.